five rounds of loaded action for the aerial title as sponsored by Bridget Tiles Limited. Would you welcome first into the blue corner, representing the Kennels Gym, Ronnie Wallace. So low kick area title over five one minute rounds. And into the blue corner will come Ronnie Wallace from my old mate Alan Kettle, the Kettle's Gym. Well established over the years. Breeder of champions, Alan Kettle. One of the most articulate, intelligent men in Thai boxing and kickboxing today. And this is his student, Ronnie Wallace, making his way to the ring and the blue corner. Into the red corner. Representing Andre K9. And his opponent, representing Audrey K9, Connor McAleese, and you can hear the crowd. Good support for both these camps. It's an incredible night of action here for Cyclone 9. So many clubs have bought big support, a lot of travelling supporters, and it's the best atmosphere I've ever seen at a Cyclone Fight, cyclone fight Night. So many travelling supporters, and look at what they've got to entrance through from fightnightlive.tv. Superb backdrop for these incredible fights. And here's McAleese getting that crowd going. Five one minute rounds of action. The local area title is sponsored by Budget Tires Limited. And the Warriors in the ring. In the people. Hark at this crowd. White and green shorts, black head guard for Wallace. A red helmet for McAleese. Black and yellow shorts. Same height and body shape at the weight, these two. Round one of five. Straight in to the centre of the ring. Wallace steps back as McAleese comes in. Fast-paced opening, heavy shots. Hands high, feet low from both. Low kicks and then boxing over the top. Mirror images of each other in this opening. What a fast-paced start. I know it's five rounds, but they're minute rounds. And with the pedigree of these two clubs, it won't be a problem for these two youngsters. Spins with the kick, Wallace. McAleese straight back at him. Back and forward with the low kicks and the boxing over the top. Like so many bouts tonight, the pace has started in such an intensity. Captured the imagination of the clubs, the supporters and the fighters. What an opening round. Not much between them. There's the man himself, Alan Kettle, talking to his man. Conor McAleese, calm and composed in his own corner. Here we go for round two. And they're straight back at it. I love the way they put the low kicks in. They bring the hands over the top. It's fluid, hands and feet together for this low kick title. Nice movement, light on their toes, straight right from Wallace. McAleese comes straight back. Look at the turn, but as he turns, McAleese catches him with the right. They are both so quick in terms of their footwork, their reaction. Worthy title back from these two. Low kick, Wallace. McAleese turns him. Looks to his corner quickly, spins with the kick, Wallace. Lands to the midsection, throws the low kick, steps away as McAleese comes forward. Cheap from Wallace, McAleese just walks straight through it. Right hand from Wallace, but McAleese lands with the left. Chops low with the last kick of the round. Two incredible rounds. Halfway point coming up next, round three.
Midway point, round three. Spins. Wallace with the kick. McAlee straight in. They go in to the clinch. Got to be broken. It's not Muay Thai. Looks for the high round kick. Wallace McAleese sees it coming. Punch for punch. Then the double low kick from McAleese. Wallace spins back into the centre of the ring. Spins with the kick. McAleese chops low. Wallace replies. You can't ask for more from these two, can you? Back and forward. Two well-schooled fighters. And the crowd behind both of them. Wallace spins. McAleese hits low. Then they throw the hooking punches high. Chopping back and forward at each other. Oh, right hand from McAleese into the clinch. Last 10 seconds of round three. Wow. Round four, penultimate round, and this is hard and close. Look at this, everybody knows what a fight this is. The crowd getting behind both their young men. Round four. McAleese probing, chops low. The hooking punches back from Wallace. McAleese little shimmy. Walking Wallace down, Wallace responds. Chops at that lead leg of McAleese. Spins with the kick, McAleese steps back, throws his own kick. Toe to toe. Push kick. Wallace McAleese looks to take the leg, can't. What a war this has been between these two young men. Great to see. Back and forward, toe to toe. Mirror images, these two. Cardio just not a problem, the pace electric. McAleese pushes forward and now we have the fifth and final round. Four rounds flown by and neither young man has given an inch. Captured the imagination of the audience here and at stake the area title. Here they go, one last round. Wallace pushes forward, this time looking to back McAleese up into his own corner. McAleese responds. Pushing forward again. And now McAleese looks to chase Wallace down. Left and right. Fever pitch to this bout. Wallace now throwing, McAleese lets the shots go in reply, both took to give, neither's complained, what a chin both men have got as well, can't ask for, for more from these two youngsters in this bout, worthy area title, one of the bouts of the night from these two youngsters, and what's been a stacked card as well, head guard. Wallace McAleese sportingly stopped to say, Hey, saw his head guard out, ref. Almost there now for these two men, and away they go again. What a close back! There you have it. Wallace raises his hands, both corners. So we now go to the man in the middle's decision. It's down to the referee, one judge for each of the fighters, one judge drawn, five rounds, you can't have a six. So Mick Fowles, our referee, makes the decision. And it's for Wallace in the blue corner. What a fight, what drama right to the end. The judges couldn't spit them, our referee had to. And it's Wallace finally takes it, what about?